Hey book nerds, I'm Travis, and this is Travis Reads Books. Today I'm doing the under lock and key tag created by Joe Compton at Go Indie Now. And this tag is in celebration of the recent cover reveal and the opening of pre-orders for Lock and Key, the new book by Christy Stratus that is coming out in September. Now, if you watch my videos at all, then you have probably heard me talk about Anatomy of a Darkened Heart many times. It's one of my favorite all-time books, and this is also one of my favorite all-time covers. And this is my signed copy. So Lock and Key is a semi-sequel spin-off uh, that takes place in a shared Victorian universe with Anatomy of a Darkened Heart. Obviously, I've already pre-ordered my copy of Lock and Key, and so here are 10 questions inspired by Anatomy of a Darkened Heart and Lock and Key. Question 1. Favorite spin-off, since Lock and Key is sort of a spin-off of Anatomy of a Darkened Heart. I can't think of very many that I like at all, but definitely the one that comes to mind is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. The movie, not the textbook which isn't particularly exciting. As far as the Harry Potter movies go, I would actually rate Fantastic Beasts up in probably the top three of my favorite Harry Potter movies, up with Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban. Question two. Favorite little shop? Uh, there's a little store back in Nova Scotia, where I used to live, called Into the Mystic, and it's a little pagan shop that has all kinds of crystals and carvings and tarot cards and beautiful posters and t-shirts, just all kinds of really cool and beautiful handmade things. I'll be flying home in two weeks, so I'll be sure to check it out and maybe bring back something cool to show you all. Question three. Something weird you have a lock and key for. Well, this isn't weird, but I literally only have one key. This is the only key I own, the key to my apartment. As you can see, it's a pretty gnarly key. I really don't have anything else that I ever need to lock up, so it's the only key I ever carry around with me. Question four. Favorite scene that takes place in a retail establishment? Uh, I feel like a lot of people are going to choose this answer, but I have to say Harry Potter arriving in Ollivander's. Uh, or really any of the Harry Potter scenes that take place in Diagon Alley. Uh, I think those are so exciting, and especially uh, for me, seeing them in the movies and seeing them come to life in these really bizarre and fun places. One day I would hope to go and see the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and see them in real life. I think that would be really cool. Question 5. Favorite book, movie, TV show that takes place in Victorian times? Uh, I have to say Frankenstein. And for that one, I could be talking about either Mary Shelley's Frankenstein the book or the 1931 Billy Wilder film, Frankenstein, both of which are classics. And if I had to pick a favorite, I think I would actually say I like the movie a little more than the book, although the book is fantastic too. Favorite book or movie with the main character's name in the title? Uh, I'm going to say Titus Andronicus. And this, again, could be talking about either the play or the movie. Uh, there's a really fantastic adaption of the Shakespeare play made by Julie Taymor. And it doesn't get a lot of critical recognition, but it is really just a fantastic and weird and tragic and fascinating movie. Uh, and the play itself is probably my favorite Shakespeare play. I don't know, I've never sat down to actually rank them, but I think it would definitely be near the top anyway. Question seven. Favorite sophomore effort? For this one, I said Outer Dark by Cormac McCarthy. Uh, and this is my very, very beat up old copy of Outer Dark, which is coffee stained and beaten to hell. 
Um, Outer Dark is the story of a brother and sister, and the sister has a child by the brother, uh, and then the brother takes the child and buries it in the woods, where it's then found, and this, this isn't spoiler, this is all just the introduction of the story. Uh, it's found by someone who saves the child and takes it away, and then the book is the story of the brother and sister going on sort of separate odysseys. The brother travels the land uh, just trying to escape his past, I think, uh, on his own, and trying to escape his past sins. Meanwhile, his sister finds the dug-up grave and goes in search of her child. Uh, it is a unusual book. It is disturbing, as most of Cormac McCarthy's books are. Um, it is not particularly readable, though I wouldn't say it's the most difficult to read of Cormac McCarthy's books. Uh, Cormac McCarthy, if you didn't know, notoriously does not believe in punctuation. He thinks it comes between him and the reader if it exists. Uh, so his books can be very hard to read. And if you've only read The Road, which is probably his most mainstream book, uh, and is more or less readable. Some of his other books are just very difficult to get through, as brilliant as they are. Uh, but Outer Dark, his second book, I think, is one of his best, and certainly at least one of his most unique. Question eight. Favorite black sheep? This one, I'm going to say Miss Luna Lovegood. And I think she's the black sheep of the Harry Potter family because uh, she's sort of an outsider among most of the school. But even Harry and Ron and Hermione never really accept her either. So she sort of remains on the outside with them as well, uh, which I think is kind of sad because, I mean, they like her and she likes them and they all get along. But she's never really welcomed into their little clique either, so I think she really remains a black sheep to everybody uh, in that series. Question 9. Something you will always buy when you go into a shop. Well, if they have Funko Pops, I will probably buy a Funko Pop. And also coffee. If uh, you have a shop of any kind that sells any kind of coffee, I will almost assuredly get it. Even if I don't really feel like coffee, just because... Uh, I want to try as many coffees before I die as I can. And if you sell coffee, then I probably want to try it. Question 10. Name an indie author whose next book you are looking forward to. My answer for this is obviously going to have to be uh, Lock and Key by Christy Stratus. I really, really am looking forward to reading Lock and Key, and I can't wait to see what it's like. Well, that was the Under Lock and Key book tag. Thanks to Joe Compton at Go Indie Now for making it. Thanks to Christy Stratus for writing Lock and Key. Uh, and I'll put a link to the pre-order for it in the description down below. Uh, if you haven't checked out Anatomy of a Darkened Heart yet, uh, you definitely owe it to yourself to do that. I'll put a link to that below as well. well thanks for watching. Love and respect. See you next time.